Hey, it's Jeff. It's uh, Thursday, January 17th, and uh, yeah, I, and this is take two of this video. The last time I rambled way too much, I didn't look at the camera, and I swore a lot, so I'm going to be cleaner and shorter and shut up quicker now. So anyway, hopefully your year is going well so far. We are two and a half weeks in. I am quite enjoying it. I have only missed one day of running, so I've gotten a great start on mileage. <clears throat> um, I have gotten some time on the trails, weeks, or the weather's just been chaos here. It was... Uh, a nice cold Sunday morning, just cold enough that it uh, everything stayed hard until midday. So I got 15 miles total, probably 10 on the trails, uh, and it was a wonderful run. And then um, Monday was rainy, Tuesday was snowy. Um, I confused all my coworkers because I don't mind running in the snow if it's not slippery, and it was perfect. It was dry and it was powdery, so I did 5K at lunch and it was wonderful. And uh, those make me feel, you know, just I don't know, invigorated for some reason. So rainy again. Um, um, that be Wednesday and then today Thursday it was like 55 degrees so I kicked myself for not bringing a t-shirt to work I was in shorts and a long sleeve that was hiked up and uh, it was a great run I did 10k at lunch uh, and quite enjoyed it so I hope your training is going well my only gripe at this point is I can't keep my heart right where it's supposed to be still working on that I do have uh, you know reasonable weekly mileage and I am officially signed up for my first 50k in uh, in April so that training really kind of has already started, but in earnest, we'll start in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, um, I wanted, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to make a video about an armband, which is kind of dumb, but <clears throat> you know, it's something I use all too often. Let's talk about it. So anyway, I've gone through maybe six of these through Amazon. Um, there is at least up until recently, there was one kind of generic design and it was the same one for all of them. This particular one is my last one of that. And it's called, it's a brand called Portholic. Um, and it was, you know, kind of a shiny, plasticky, whatever, uh, meant to fit about an iPhone 6, 7 size. And uh, the whole thing is not really stretchy. So if you see, like, the gripe here is you got to kind of, when you put it on your arm, you have to kind of cinch it down a little bit and kind of pinches you and cuts off circulation a little bit and just chafes. So not great. And what I've always found is it seems like right here at this joint, I always tear that piece. You can see I tore the top one there. So, you know, four to six months out, um, wearing it almost daily. It's gonna fall apart. <clears throat> so that happened on this one too. The other annoying thing is these gentle folk at Port Holic said that they had an, a lifetime warranty. I went to use it because obviously, you know, four to six months is not lifetime. And they had it in that time, discontinued this model, made a new one, but apparently because the model doesn't exist, it is this lifetime is over and they wouldn't give me a new one. So screw those guys. Don't buy from Port Holic. It's also a weird name. I don't like them. So garbage that one goes. So most recently, I got this guy, which is a tribe. Um, I like them. They got good colors. This was a well-reviewed one on Amazon. And one thing that's the first time, like I said, I've had probably three or four of that almost exact design. This one, they have upped their game. This piece now is stretchy. Ooh, you can see it's really too. That's cool. Um, so otherwise, about the same. Kind of a shiny-ish um, plastic. This one has a cutout for the, the home button. Um, I think now that there's no real home button on a, on a typical iPhone, it's kind of, you know, to, to touch it you or to get it to activate, you have to have a true touch, not like touch through plastic. So, but otherwise everything's waterproof anymore, all the phones. So this works really well. I've never had a single issue. I do sweat through it and phones don't care. Um, this Velcro is a little different too. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's, uh, this is definitely less of a hook than normal, but man, this stuff is super sticky. So good and bad. Um, but I, the stretchy part's really nice because you do not have to nail the sizing on your arm. You can kind of put it on where you feel and then it can stretch and it still doesn't move a lot. So I had been really enjoying this um, up until recently and I decided to switch over to something new and I haven't used this since and I will show you why. So I picked up this guy, a uh, flip belt um, just a couple weeks ago. Um, and this was recommended by a number of friends um, and other runners that I know. <clears throat> I wanna say it was Ryan Clayton's video that kind of finally pushed me over the edge. Uh, I decided to try them out. They are sized, I wear a medium. It's on the back somewhere there. Um, but basically, you know, if, if you're between sizes, it's based on your waist size and kind of where you want to wear it. If it's more your natural waist or below your hips, I wear mine basically at my belt line. But, um, if you're close to the, to, uh, you know, one size or the other, I'd recommend going down cause you want it a little tighter. You don't want it bouncing around. And that was one of the first things that I really loved about this is, um, I took it out the first night. I threw my phone in the pocket or I guess it's kind of a continuous pocket, but I put it in there and then I went for a run and about two miles in, I thought, Oh my God, where's my phone? Because uh, I didn't have an armband on, and about two beats, I was like, I could still hear songs, I can hear music, or, I, or whatever I was listening to at the time. 
So it's obviously still on me. And then it, it took a second to remember that, yeah, I'm trying something new and realize that I have this belt on that I have forgotten about completely. It's just gone. It has disappeared, which is very rare with something in the, you know, running apparel side of things. Um, it's even with stuff that fits really well. Like I have a pair of sunglasses, those Smiths I think I mentioned a few videos back that I love. I, I just cannot, I, I literally bought the last pair I could find on the internet from Inger from Italy because I love those so much. And even those after, you know, two hours or something, I'll start feeling a little bit of a pinch. So they started to bug me. This is something I truly think could disappear and just not even, you could forget about it for an entire marathon, ultra marathon, whatever you want to do. Um, I have since run probably 25, 30 miles in this thing. And it's great. I mean, there's no bounce. I put my phone in. It's uh, it's kind of, it's got four of these pockets. You be, and then it's, it is basically, there are four openings and it's a continuous pocket all the way around aside from the back, I think. No, even the back's a pocket. So you can put whatever you want all the way around. If you have a fruit by the foot that you've un unrolled and want to put in there for some reason, you could do that continuously. Um, it does, this is a pretty basic one. This comes with a little key thing at the back and that's about it. They do make one with a zipper and they make one that is uh, kind of reflective. So if you wanted to, uh, if you run more at night, like I have been recently, that would help. I have a full reflective vest, so I'm not too worried about it. But I like this enough that I bought one for my wife the same week because it's been awesome. And it fits great and it holds what I want and it is really, really nice. I do have a Nathan race belt that I've used in the past. This I bought because it does have kind of a tiny little fanny pack. This can hold about two or three gels, um, maybe car keys. And then it does have, if you want, on the side, it's got a couple more gel, I don't know, lassos, let's say. And then it's got your, uh, for your race belt. I might keep using this, I'm not sure. It's better for triathlon because you can easily pull it on. Um, but this thing is just so awesome. I just really like it. And it's uh, it's one of those things that uh, I am, regretting not buying earlier. So uh, that's probably about the bulk of what I can say about it. At the end of the day, it is, you know, a, a race belt. But um, I'm gonna throw up a link for that Tribe uh, armband as well as this guy on the uh, on the show notes. This is, or not the show notes, the uh, video description below. This is mildly more expensive. I think I paid 26 bucks with tax. If you find it, they occasionally have them used. That's actually how I got my wife's and it was 13 bucks. Um, that Tribe armband was about 13 bucks. So. That was the reason I hesitated is because it cost two armbands. But um, yeah, regret it now because this thing's pretty sweet. Anyway, um, if you want to check it out, I would highly recommend it. At this time, you might poke around to see if you can find a coupon. I stumbled upon one on Facebook um, for going directly through the Flipbelt site and it was like 15 bucks off. So it actually made it like $15 um, plus whatever shipping they charge. Could be a pretty sweet deal. If I find that, I'll throw it in there as well. But Anyway, if you need something to hold your phone or something else, you know, keys, wallet, whatever, I think this is a pretty awesome solution and I recommend you give it a try. And I hope your run is going well and I'll talk to you guys soon.